Hello and welcome to my true crime channel. Today I'm going to be looking into serial killer Fred West and whether another one of his poor victims is about to be uncovered from underneath a floor in a cafe in Gloucestershire in England, UK. Now news has broke here in the UK this week that in a property in a cafe in the centre of Gloucestershire or Gloucester in the UK in England Police, it's quite a deep breath needs to be taken here. Police are digging for yet another one of Fred West's victims. Shocking. Now, this cafe has often been thought or known that perhaps one of Fred or more than one of Fred West's victims could be buried underneath the floor in the basement. It was rep previously reported to police and because of lack of evidence, the police didn't pursue it. And what, what, is it, what it has taken is for a documentary team to go into this property with Trevor MacDonald, who's a very famous ex-newsreader in, in my country in England. They took in sniffer dogs. The sniffer dog alerted to what could be a dead body under the floor. They then used some sort of techno technological equipment to look underneath the floor and they've seen what they believe is a body under the floor of the cellar. Now, I'm sure most of you are already aware of Fred and Rose West. They are two of the most sinister and horrible, sadistic serial killers that England has ever known. Other than the Moores murderer and Jack the Ripper, there aren't many murderers and serial killers that are up there for being as notoriously horrible as Fred and Rose West. Now, it is thought that Mary Bastholm, a 15-year-old girl that went missing from a bus stop, could be the person that the police are currently looking for underneath the basement of a cafe. Mary went missing from a bus stop aged 15 and it was known that she had been in Fred West's car before. She worked at this cafe where they're currently looking for her body and it is known that Fred West laid the floor in the cafe although it's not too clear whether he, he laid the floor before or after Mary's disappearance. It looks like it was after, and if so, that, that's a very good reason for the police to be looking. But it was known that Fred was a regular at the cafe, that he'd done building work there, and that Mary had been seen in his car on more than one occasion. Now, Mary went missing. Let me just get this right. It was on the 6th of January 1968 when she was going to meet her boyfriend, Tim. She was at a bus stop holding a Monopoly game, the board game Monopoly that she'd borrowed off of her boyfriend, Tim, and that she was going to be taking back to him. He should have normally picked her up, but due to unforeseen circumstances on the day, he wasn't able to pick her up and she had to get the bus. Now, it's quite likely that she never even got on the bus. Um, there wasn't any CCTV back in those days in the late 60s. It's quite likely that she met with Fred West, who perhaps offered her a lift to her boyfriend's, and clearly... She never got taken to the boyfriend's. She's been missing ever since. And could it be that all these years later, decades and decades down the line, long after Fred West has taken his own life, long after Rose West has been convicted of 10 murders, could it be that another one of their victims is about to be uncovered? Now, as I said, I think it was reported in 2012 to the police that there was something potentially in that cafe or that perhaps other of Fred West's victims could have been buried there. Due to lack of evidence, the police were never ever able to follow that through. I also believe due to lack of funding, they didn't have enough money to carry out the searches, which is truly shocking. Surely some money should have been found from somewhere to help find this poor girl's body. I mean, she's been missing since 1968. Jesus. I don't know. It beggars belief how the police run out of funding for two of the most notorious serial killers in my country to not carry on looking for people that they've murdered. It is known that apparently there are at least 30 other bodies that have never been found. Nine alone were found at the Cromwell House Street, uh, where they lived in Gloucester. And I believe two were found at another property that uh, Fred West used to live in, and another was found in a field. Now, that only adds up to 12 bodies. <laughs> he told people there was at least 30 others, and some other people claim that he said he was one of the most prolific murderers in the UK and that there could be up to a hundred victims. Now, at the time, this is before Harold Shipman, who is our most notorious serial killer ever, he killed over 200 people. Horrible, horrible, savage man that should never have been allowed to be a doctor. But pre-Harold Shipman, the Wests, or at least Fred West, would have been the most notorious serial killer in my country in England, had he actually killed the hundred people 
that he claims to have killed. So since this documentary with Trevor MacDonald had started to be filmed and, and researched, it has been found that there is something suspicious under the floor of the cafe where Mary used to work. Now, some people don't believe it's her, other people believe it's her, and that there could be other people buried under there with her. Whatever way, it's truly horrific. And what is extremely, extremely sad is Mary's mum and dad and brothers have all since passed away. There is, I believe, a sister-in-law that's still alive. One of her brother's wives is still alive. And there are still some cousins in Australia. But other than that, the direct family are all dead. Why couldn't the police have looked in this property in 2012 to at least, if they could have found Mary's body, given her family some closure, let her brothers that were still alive then have given her a funeral? Admittedly, her parents were probably gone by then, but at least her brothers could have known. It's so sad that all these years have passed and the police had some sort of knowledge that she could be there, but due to lack of funding, they haven't pursued it. I find that awful. I mean, why couldn't they ever ask the public for money? I'm sure we would have all donated if we thought this mystery of Mary could have been solved. And not only that, why can't they ask for funding now? Why can't they be asking the public now for funding so that all of the other victims of Fred and Rose West could be found? Other searches could be done because clearly there are a lot more dead bodies out there that were victims of the Wests than have ever been found. Now, going back to Mary's story, her boyfriend or a boyfriend at the time, Tim, had been with her six months. He said she was a very caring girl and that he liked her a lot. He had his motorbike off the road at the time, so he wasn't able to go into Gloucester to pick her up. And that was why she got the bus. Now, that poor lad's had to live with that the rest of his life. He was questioned by the police. Obviously, being her boyfriend, he probably came under suspicion, but he obviously had nothing to do with it. And thank goodness, goodness, the police were able to let him go. But he has been interviewed twice about her disappearance. And all these years later, he'd love for the closure to know what really happened to her. He's not sure whether her body could be buried in this cafe, but he is certain, absolutely certain, that Fred West killed Mary... He's just not certain where her body is. Now, something else Tim, um, Mary's boyfriend from the late 60s, has said is often he sees someone in the street that looks like Mary. He approaches them and then realises it's not her. He knows that she's probably dead and it's unlikely to be her, but he still looks out for her in a crowd whenever he's in a crowded place. And that breaks my heart to know that. But all these years later, he's still trying to find her face in a crowd, even though she's probably dead. This is such a tragic case, guys. The Wests, they are the most horrible, sadistic, horrific, some of the worst murderers I've ever read about. I'm not going to go in, in in this video today what they did to all these women. I'm sure you've all read about it. But some were buried in under the floor in the house in Cromwell Street. Some were buried in the garden. They killed two of their own daughters. And one of Fred West's ex-wives -ex or ex-girlfriends, they killed her as well. God knows how many people they killed. They seem to take quite a lot of pleasure from killing people and sadistically torturing them. And the things that they did are just truly evil, pure evil that I'm not sure you find anywhere else uh, other than, like I said, the Moors murderers um, and in England, um, Ian Brady, obviously, the, the Moors murderers. But other than Jack the Ripper, Fred and Rose West are, are probably the worst ever couple serial killers we've ever had or we've ever known about in the UK. Now the police have said here in the UK it's going to take a good two or three weeks maybe four weeks to dig up the basement or the cellar of this cafe. Now they've got an archaeologist down there with them to help them dig so that the body isn't disturbed and that it can be removed if, it, if there is a body there if better caveat that. If the body, if a body is found, to make sure it's removed intact, that any DNA evidence can be preserved and that it can be removed in the most respectful manner. And so that, as I said, any evidence is preserved. Now, if a body is found down there, it's going to take quite a while with DNA to try and find out who it is. As I said, most of Mary's family are dead. I don't know whether their DNA were taken before they died, but perhaps the cousins in Australia could be a partial DNA match and that they could find out whether it was Mary from the cousins that are still alive in Australia. If it's another one of um, Rose and Fred West's victims, um, could whoever it is be identified through dental records? Although as the bodies have probably been down there decades, 
it's not definite that they're going to be able to find out who they were from their dental records. Hopefully they will be able to. Hopefully there isn't even a body down there. But if it is Mary, I really hope that her family can get some closure. I hope the poor girl can get a funeral. She was only 15 years old when she went missing. So for all of these decades to have passed by without anything coming to, to, to knowledge to her family and friends of what happened to her... Could it be that all these years later, after her disappearance in 1968, I mean, God, it's a long time ago, could it be about to be solved? So, guys, this is just a short video for me today to give you a little update on Mary, on Mary Bastholm, and whether it is her body that's going to be discovered in Gloucestershire in this cafe where she worked. By the way, it is only about half a mile away where Fred West lived, away from this, this coffee shop, so he lived very nearby. So the chances are there is going to be a body underneath there. He laid a floor there and quite often when he laid floors or he did plaster in, bodies got put in weird places and that poor person was never seen again. So I hope that this comes to something. If it is Mary, I hope a family get closure. If it's not Mary, who else could it be? There are so many other people that are feared to have become a victim of Fred and Rose West. Could it be somebody else down there? I truly hope it isn't anybody, but if it is somebody or more than one person's body down there, I hope that the families of the dead people can get the closure that they need, that the public give them the privacy that they need, and that the poor dead people can get the funerals that they so deserve. Now, I haven't covered the Wests on my channel yet because it's probably going to be a three-parter when I get around to covering it. It's such an in-depth story. They murdered so many different people that I want to be able to do the case justice. And it's like I said, it's probably going to be a two- or three-parter on my channel. Certainly not a case that you can do in 10 or 20 minutes. I just wanted to update you guys, especially you guys that don't live here in the UK that are aware of the Wests, of this news that, you know, all these years later, another body might be about to be uncovered. As soon as there's news on the search, I will update you all and do another video. And just to let you know, I am going to do another video on the West, but again, it will be a shortish one, just to explain about all the other bodies and people they may have murdered who have never been found. It really is an awful case, and I am glad that Fred West is dead. Dead, hopefully, in hell, down there somewhere, where he belongs. Shame that Rose West isn't dead as well because she is such an evil, horrible character. She makes me sick and she makes my skin crawl. Let's hope she rots in prison for the rest of her life. Um, excuse me. But I can't stand the pair of them. They're horrible. I feel sorry for any of their surviving children. I really do. I mean, apparently one of their surviving daughters thinks that there could be up to 30, between 30 and 100 other dead people. 30 and 100 was 11 or 12 not enough oh my god i really hope that she's wrong their daughter but shocking as it is it does seem like fred west confessed to a lot of these mur um, murders that he carried out before he took his own life but the trouble is he never said who they all were and where they all were buried so the chances are a lot of his victims will never be found but if there are more victims out there i hope and i pray that they are found one day so guys, as always, I'd love your comments on this, so stick them down below. Let me know what you think. Do you think this could be Mary Bastholm? Do you think Fred West abducted her? It's looking very likely like he did. But do you think her body would be buried in the place that she worked? Do you think there could be more bodies under there? I personally think there could be a number of them. Who knows? I really hope that this is solved soon and that the dig and, and the excavation of this building's floor can be carried out soon so at least Mary's relatives that are still alive and friends like her ex-boyfriend can know what really happened to her. So anyway if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe I'd really appreciate your support if you know anybody else that likes true crime pass them in the direction of my channel I cover cold cases and solved cases just like I'm doing in this video and I do other things such as body language analysis of, of what I think are criminals or people in crime cases and I also do statement analysis where I analyze the statements of people where I feel I detect deception as I've all told you I love calling out liars it's one of my favorite things in life so do check out my statement analysis and body language videos and I'll be back very soon guys with another true crime video you take care and stay safe now bye bye